hang them up on hangers. Kadesh and Kaida, you're not doing Kindles right now, so what are you doing? I'm dipping my shirt. They're just being themselves. What just... daddy picking up milk? Get on the couch. Hi! Um, I want to take some videos or something. I can't. It didn't work. You have homework to do. Um, this toast is still on my counter. I'm not appreciating it. Yeah. Daddy, hold it up. Hey! Make sure your clothes get hung up, please. Okay. And um, then I need to know what your action plan is for the afternoon. Because I have something that you could do. For as long as I can remember, I've been passionate about children. Their growth, their development. We're going to do pages one through seven and learn about Ruth, who is an ancestor of King David and the greatest king of all, Lord Jesus. Find out about the wise choice that Ruth made and about God's good plan for her. When I was in high school, I didn't just work as a summer camp counselor. I worked at a science literacy camp, so we were all focused on education and I loved it. Our children need the experience of um, sharing life. God made all things for his own image, for his own glory. All right, would you read the last one, please? Support, <laughs> accountability, um, this. Fellowship, partnership. Somebody who knows, you know, just being able to share the same experience. I had a couple starts and stops of um, furthering my education after high school, um, but I began teaching preschool and I had the blessing to have my firstborn son with in in my same classroom having my oldest son in my classroom really encouraged me to pursue a degree in early childhood education but within the first classes i was taking uh, exploring the different avenues and philosophies of education i became really intrigued with the idea of being able to homeschool my own children. Okay, I'll listen, this is on my blog, you know. You want me to go read it? <laughs>